If I would tell that person, get out of the room, <laughs> who are you? You're way too classy for this joint. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm here again with Jason. He's basically just going to be in every second video. I'm taking over all of Jen's channel. Eventually we're converting it to my channel. You won't see Jen anymore. So today, we are talking about something that I am obsessed with. First time we talked about it, it was like 4 o'clock in the morning and we yes. talked for like 3 hours. And so I thought, what better than this? It is the Mandela Effect. <laughs> so, uh, let me explain super briefly what yeah, the Mandela Effect is, because I don't even know if you fully know. The Perfect. concept of it is basically there's two parallel universes and somehow the world quote unquote ended, they smushed together. So some people are from universe A, some people mm. are from universe B. So people remember different things, therefore things are changing because millions of people remember them a certain way when really they have never been that way, if that makes sense. I right. think that makes sense. Yeah. I think that part is like a little far-fetched. Like I am kind of a conspiracy theory junkie, but I do think that that that's a little bit far-fetched. So I think that, travel? yeah, so I think it's more okay. like the butterfly effect, which is like people travel yeah. back in time, they do one teeny tiny thing different and it causes a whole chain of events for things to change. I think that makes a lot more sense because yes, we don't have time travel right now, yeah. but 45, 50, 60, 100 years from now, we might, yeah. which means that it's possible that there are time travelers from 50 years from now here, yeah. if that makes, if that makes yeah. sense. So that makes a lot more sense to me than two universes. Yeah. The reason why this is called the Mandela Effect is because a whole bunch of people remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison. Right. But then there's a whole bunch of people who don't remember that. Mm -hmm. So this is that's kind of where the name came from because that was the number one thing that really sparked people believing in the Mandela Effect. There's proof in books and stuff that said like, he died in jail and then and like then actually yeah, written. He obviously never did. Like he died like a couple of years ago. I have compiled a list. This is not all of them. There's literally like hundreds or thousands. I just went through a couple articles and videos and found the ones that seemed the most popular. None of these are new, so it's possible that you've seen these before if you're into the Mandela effect as much as me. But I'm hoping that you haven't heard of some of them. So we are gonna go through. I'm gonna start with the one, the biggest one, which is uh, the it's a childhood book about a family of bears, mm. the Berenstein Bears. Everybody remembers it being the Berenstein Bears. Like this is the, probably the most popular one. Yeah. But it's actually the Berenstain Bears, spelled with an A, not an E. Yes. Do you remember that one? Uh, Berenstein Bears. I've always said it like that. I'm not gonna change. I don't mm -hmm. care what the title says. Even the um, there's like a a little. It's not like a movie, but it's like a video on it. They even mm. say we're the Berenstain bears but then if you look online too you can find people have really old books or pictures of books or something where it says Berenstein with an e yeah so the next one a headphone brand beats by dre okay so the actual name which this one i actually just heard of this like two days ago okay is actually beats by dr dre full thing dr dre so their logo even says dr dre I feel like that just is extending it out way too long. Doesn't you know it just, what I mean? Like, it like sounds Beats by Dre, and that's it. Beats by uh, Doctor Dr. Dre. Like I don't know if I can see it in my mind. Like, like what that's it actually looks like it. Yeah, or it's just like Beats and then by small and then Doctor Dre. So you know, Doctor Dre. I've Dr. never Dubai. heard of them being called Beats by Doctor Dre. Also, Nobody the calls logo it looks really freaking weird. Let me okay. show you. Does that look weird? Uh, Rainbow Wonder Bread. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say that? Yeah. Never existed. It's not a thing. So this is actually- Like the colored? Yeah, like colored Wonder Bread. This is more of a Canadian one because I feel like this was straight up a thing in Canada. Americans, some Americans remember it, but not really, but so many Canadians vividly remember Rainbow Wonder Bread. I remember kids in school had it and I was so jealous, but my mom wouldn't buy it because it what? would like die. Was it marmalade? 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 Like marmalade? And it was like was straight up colorful bread. It exists now, but right. it's not, um, like you can find like rainbow swirl right. bread, but not like the wonder bread kind, which I swear was a thing. Next one, I think you've heard of this one, but the most famous line from Star Wars. 
Luke, I am your father. Yeah, that never happened. It's actually just, no, I am your father, because he says, you killed my father, and then he says, no, I am your father. That's definitely a super popular one, because you can literally buy Star Wars paraphernalia that yeah. says, Luke, I am your yeah. father. There's Definitely like, think that one got messed up somewhere. For sure. Um, there's spin-offs. People say that it shows. Like, there's other shows that yeah. have quoted it, but it never even happened. Yeah. It never happened. Loyal. I don't even like it that it didn't happen. The next one is from an acceptance speech. I'm not sure if you've heard of this one. A lot of people haven't, but she has the award. She says, they like me. They really like me. Right. Okay. I know okay, that. that. That never happened. She says, they like me right now. They like me. I feel like maybe somebody redid it like in a comedy show. If anybody knows that. But even maybe still comment. though, they, they redid it mocking the original that yeah. never even happened. Which is, oh. that were interesting. How'd they make it happen? Shirley Temple, who was like famous. She was a famous little kid. A yeah. lot of people remember her dying, dying like literally 50 or 60 years ago. Right. She died in 2014. Whoa, like not too recently. long ago. Recently, yeah. Which... I swear I don't remember hearing about her dying. Like, yeah. I feel like that would be relevant. She's been famous for like 60 years. It's like when Betty White dies, like yeah. you're gonna know. Yeah, it's a big one. She was young when the movie was made. So, you know, 25 years prior to 2014. No, she was like 60. She died when she was like 60 in 2014. Yeah. But everyone thought she was from like, like early oh, like 1930s. She was like even older than that. Yeah, yeah, they thought she was like, they thought she died at 60, like 60 years ago. Right. Mickey Mouse. Okay. Okay. So a lot of people remember he has red with yellow buttons, suspenders. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to... Mickey Mouse in your head. Yeah. Red and, and blue? Blue. With little yellow dots? With little yellow, yes. Okay, so Mickey Mouse, first of all, doesn't have suspenders, which is super weird, I feel like. Yeah, I thought he had suspenders for sure. For sure. Because the buttons would be just for nothing. Exactly. Second thing is the buttons are actually white, not yellow. Everybody remembers mm, being yellow. And then yeah. the last thing is that Mickey Mouse has this like weird tail that nobody remembers. It totally makes sense for him to have a tail yeah. because he's a mouse. But I don't remember him ever having like a weird little tail. Because the Mandela effect is so popular, there's so many drawings or animations of what people remember. So if you mm. Google it, you you kind of can find both. Do the people in Disneyland have tails? Like the actors? No. Play? Mountain Dew. Uh, what does the Mountain Dew logo look like? You think it would say Mountain Dew and I... <laughs> I Like full word Mountain? Yeah. Yeah. Full word Mountain Dew. It's never said the full thing. It's always said MTN Dew. Like that. I don't like it. It first of all, it looks, looks weird. Stupid. Looks super weird. It looks like they changed the logo. Yeah. Because I swear I remember having the full logo. If you guys haven't seen this. You need to and Google it. Pause. <laughs> we'll give you a second. Go now. The Monopoly Men. Okay. Yeah. He's wearing a little black and white suit. He yeah. Has a top hat, cane, yeah. monocle, mustache. Mustache. Monocle, yeah? You remember him with the monocle? Yeah. No monocle. Never had a monocle. Glasses? No. Something? No. He has a mustache. Like he, needs... he has a mustache, but everybody remembers him with the monocle with like the little chain. Yeah. Never. Never had a monocle in like the history of Monopoly. Crazy. He's being convinced. Okay, JC Penny, the store. Okay. Spell it. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna spell this. J C. Yeah. P E N N Y. Yeah, like penny. Yeah. Like a penny. Like no, it's P E N N E Y. If you look at the logo too, it looks completely wrong. Like it's weird, but it it even looks weird. Like it's weird. okay. The show that um, Sarah Jessica Parker is in, it's really famous. There's like a whole bunch of seasons. What's it called? Sex in the City. It's actually and always has been Sex and the City. This is a really popular one too. I actually watched a video on this just the other day. There's literally videos of awards shows yeah like big deal like grammys and all that shit i don't know what grammys are i think that might be like music it's a big deal award show yeah and they awesome. announce it sarah jessica parker from sex in the city right but that's not what the show is called but it's and the city and there's so many people who have pictures of old mm -hmm. again old paraphernalia saying yeah and the city and then also in the city but the new quote-unquote new one is and the city. I definitely have heard this here. one. I've heard this one 
before and yeah like those people who have like memorabilia like you said like cologne or perfume sorry and like books yeah. and stuff that says sex in the city which sounds better and makes more sense again, yeah which is like the case for most of these I'm pulling apart everything you learned as a child and just Being burning it yeah they burn it they like light on fire speaking of childhood cruella deville okay, okay. c-r-u-e-l-l-a d-e-v-i-l-l-e correct yeah okay last name is actually d-e space v-i-l that's it that's it i don't remember it being spelled like that either also because i'm french i feel like the first one makes Dev way more sense but yeah because it's literally like devil yeah oh which is like clever but i still don't remember it being spelled like that even yeah. though it does make sense snow white okay the witch famous line she's talking to her magical mirror right say? mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all okay you and everyone else thinks that it's actually magic mirror on the wall who's the fairest one of all that's dumb they should erase that one again from the movie what that's another one i mean a lot of these a lot uh, of them, the ones from movies there's you can buy t-shirts and mugs and cups and yeah posters like that say mirror mirror on the wall yeah there's also a remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, yeah. literally called Mirror Mirror, but that never even happened. The next one is a hot dog brand. It's really famous. It has like an orange logo. Oscar Meyer Wiener. Oscar Meyer. Everybody again remembers that one. Meyer. It's actually Mayer. No. M A Y E R. Oscar Mayer Wiener. No. Even in the commercial. Yeah, Oscar it says Meyer Wiener. Mayer. A little hot dog whistle. From Oscar Mayer? Yeah. Mayer? Back in the day. Oscar Mayer Wiener. No! No! It's totally... Throw that one out. That one's garbage. Okay, the next one, I'm hoping you know about it, but maybe don't. It's a Demi Lovato song called La La Land. No. Okay. But you can educate but you can, me. You can, you'll like pick up on it and get that. Yeah. So there's a line of the song that says, I'm not a supermodel, I still eat, and everybody remembers it being McDonald's. The actual lyrics are, I still eat at Ronald's, which is the switch obviously but yeah nobody remembers it being that because also what is ronald's <laughs> nobody calls mcdonald's ronald's hey. panic at the disco okay i write sins on tragedies haven't you people ever heard of closing the uh, goddamn door yes i sing i was it's literally in my car right now yeah. yeah okay so it's actually closing a goddamn door so somebody tweeted to the lead singer of panic at the disco yeah. and they were like hey when did this change? Because if you look up lyric videos or the music video, it does say closing a goddamn door. Right. But if you look up live videos of yeah. him singing a song, like Brendan Urie singing yeah. the song that closing he wrote, yeah. he says the, not a. Yeah. So somebody tweeted at him and was like, what? What's going on with this? Like, what's the real lyrics, Mandela effect? And he yeah. said, Brendan Urie said, the person who wrote the song said, that's some Berenstein, Berenstain situation. Because he remembers writing it, the, yet now in the lyrics video, it's a. Uh. Yeah. I literally sing it close. Yeah, yeah, I sing it like that. Totally. And so does he, and he wrote the freaking song. Pikachu. Okay. Describe him. Pikachu. Little yellow guy. Yeah, with like a hamster with tail. a laser, or like a lightning bolt tail. Was his tail yellow with black tip, right? Yeah. Like a square black tip. Yes. No. It's all <laughs> yellow. There's no black on him. I even remember some, I feel, or this could be an evolution of Pikachu, but like on the edge of the tail. Yeah, yeah. Right at the tip of the tail yeah. it was like a black square. So many people remember this. Billy Mays. Okay. You know that guy? Yeah. He was the spokesperson for... <laughs> Let me help you out. Oxyclean. <laughs> Oxyclean. How do you spell Oxyclean? <laughs> O-X-Y? Okay, so that's what it actually is, is oh, O-X-Y. Okay. Who are most people? I? A lot of people remember being mm. O-X-I. Honestly, that one, I don't really know. I feel like both make sense. Like I feel like I have Oxyclean right now in my house, and that's the only reason I, that one that's was fair. relevant yeah. for me. Okay, this one blows my mind. Okay. Um, 
it's like a ice cream that isn't an ice cream. The best one is rainbow. Sherbert. Sherbert. Okay. Sherbert is not a word. Oh. It's actually sherbet. Sherbet. There's no R second R. Yeah. So everybody says like rainbow sherbet or whatever. It everybody remembers it that way, but sherbet is not a word. If you actually like type it into a word document, it comes up with like the little red squiggly underneath of it. It's not a word. It's sherbet. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like a vein <laughs> out of my brain right now. Ah! I'm blowing your mind. This one is here. another one I need to Google, but I'll let you figure it out while I do so. It's Kit Kat. K I T hyphen K A T. Like a dash. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> there right. is no dash. Everybody remembers it. Having a dash in between. Uh, Kit Kat or even like a space some people say oh, I don't, I'm not sure if there was a yeah if There was a dash, but there's for sure a space the name of Kit Kat itself is just Kit Kat all one word No dash. No. I don't like it. It doesn't even look right. Yeah, the logo definitely looks weird curious George Okay, the monkey. Yeah Describe him <laughs> He's a monkey. Okay, he's wearing a yellow raincoat or Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, and he has a tail. Yeah, because he's a monkey He's got a tail. How does he get stuff done? Doesn't have a tail. This is one, another one that like broke the internet because he's a monkey that doesn't have a tail. Whoever took a monkey home without no tail is one sick person. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. I feel like he's on like the clothesline, just like sliding down. Yeah. Okay, next one. Barbie Some, girl. Yeah. I'm a Barbie girl. In a bobby world, okay. life in plastic, it's fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. It's actually, I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. No. Get out of here. Yeah. I mean, Stop. That's true. You're ruining all my lyrics for my songs. I know. Okay, double bubble. Yeah. The gum. D-O-U-B-L-E. Yeah. B-U-B-B-L. Yeah. Double, spelled double. Yeah. False. It's actually D U B B L B U B B L. That's another one that if you look at a wrapper for a double bubble, it looks so wrong. Uh, double, double bubble. D U B B L. Double. Double bubble. I literally hate it. Okay, <laughs> really famous bear, like camping bear. You might not know this one. Uh, oh, I feel like I do. He wears a hat. Smokey the bear. Yes. Smokey S the bear. Smokey the bear. Smokey. Is his name the bear? Is what he is? Yeah, yeah. No, it's just Smoky Bear. No, it sounds stupid. Right? Which is a Smoky Bear. Smoky Bear. It makes sense. Smoky the bear. Jason the guy. You know, like <laughs> everybody's favorite childhood crack in a straw. It's literally sugar in a straw. Oh, uh, I was like crack the <laughs> crack the straw. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> like, you were talking kid, pixie sticks. Kid crack. How do you spell that? P I X I E, X E. Yeah, sticks. S T I X, right? Yeah. It's actually P I X Y. What? Another one with the logo looks weird, super wrong. Also, Pixie P I X Y is not a word. On the first day of Christmas. My true love said to me. You said sent to me. Did I? Yeah. On instinct, was that right? Yes. So. The new version, everybody remembers it being my true love gave to me. Mm. But it's really sent to me. So obviously you don't believe in that because you literally said Or I'm from a different me. universe. Just, just for one thing though. Or time traveler. Okay, so that is all we have for part one of the Mandela Effect video. Part two should be coming out in a couple of days. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. Make sure you also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at smileysogs22. Follow Jason as well. His links will be in the description. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Do you want a blanket or something? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>